Alright, so first, the materials. I need a roll of wrapping paper, stapler and staples, a piece of polyester felt, some stamping ink, an ink pad for proofing, rubber bands of uniform thickness, a wine bottle with a high punt, meaning a deep indentation right here, and one that is not flared. Connect, obviously. Latex gloves, lest you want to get some mighty inky fingers. Elmer's glue. A saw. A Ziploc baggie. A cereal box, doesn't have to be Honey Bunch of Oats. So first I'm gonna talk about how I made the plate. This wine bottle with an image of a torch made out of rubber bands. So the first step is just drawing an image. This part is a reenactment. I'm not gonna make a new image. I made this torch months ago. Once you have an image, you trace over it again with fatter lines, fatter straight lines, uh, so you can get an idea of where the rubber bands are gonna go. You can glue it around the wine bottle and then start cutting rubber bands to size and gluing them over the lines here and at the end of that we will have the image raised up above the surface of the bottle in rubber bands and that ends up looking like this obviously this bottle has been inked a number of times so you can't see the white paper underneath anymore. Remember too that when we print things like this uh, they're gonna print in the mirror image. And now we're start ready to start gluing the rubber bands onto our image. So we cut them to size, measure it against whatever line we want to start with. Apply some Elmer's glue to the back and glue it right on there. And then we move on to the next line. When the glue dries, we can make a proof. So we roll our stamp and ink. Now all the image is inked and we're ready to press it onto our paper like so. And voila! The torch. So the basic idea of the rotary press is that there's a cylindrical plate with the image, there's a drum that inks the image on one side, and there's a drum on the other side to apply pressure when the paper is fed through. With each rotation, the image is printed one time and ends up on our roll of paper. It was easy to attach the wine bottle on the top with this cone at the hole, but a little bit more difficult to get it to rotate on the Kinex axis at the heel. But I ended up getting this stack of pieces to fit relatively nicely under the punt of this wine bottle. I built a frame so that it would resist stretching. So when you put the wine bottle in, it pushes the Kinex pieces apart. So having it very inflexible in that way, but very flexible in this way, was a good way to do it. The other big breakthrough was using these Kinex wheels for the other two drums. So on this one, I put a polyester felt sleeve that I inked up with some stamping ink. And on this one, that's the one for the pressure, I wrapped it in tape in a couple sheets of paper and then in a bunch of rubber bands. And these fit really nicely to apply the right amount of pressure to the wine bottle. 
I decided to cover this roller in cardboard because I was getting some tears in the first couple print runs. So for paper, I'm gonna use a roll of wrapping paper, but I need to cut it to the right width while keeping it a roll. And that's where the saw comes in. So I rubber banded on either side so that the paper doesn't come unraveled. There we go. So now I'm taping my paper to this back roller where the paper is gonna be stored until it gets printed. I wanna be careful to line it up correctly. All right, now we're getting ready to roll it on up there. So now I'm going to feed the paper between that pressure roller, which is not yet engaged, and the image so that I can attach it to the other side. And there it goes. And then on the other side, I'm going to attach it to the back roller. So now I'm gonna flip the whole press over and I remove the ink roller that was up here so that I can engage the pressure roller and we can start printing. Here goes. And now I can flip it back over. Put that inking piece back on. So let's take a look at what's happening again exactly at all the different parts. The blank paper is stored on this roller fed between our pressure drum and our wine bottle plate. Up here we have our inking roller attached at this hinge in the back right over here and pressure, further pressure applied by these two rubber bands. Over here we have a crank to move the roller along here, advancing the paper, and turning all three of these cylinders. So there it is, just two of many, many torches printed with this Kinex rotary press, just like they do it for the newspaper. I'm gonna use this to make a zine, I think, so tune in for a video about that. Time to clean up.